Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are checking out the Duality game engine. That's because Duality 3.0 was just released. Now I know a lot of you have probably not heard of Duality unless you've been following this channel for a very long time. I covered this a while back, but this is a game engine that doesn't get a whole lot of exposure, and that's a bit of a shame because it is an excellent engine. Now let's start with the negative. It is a Windows-based engine, so even though it's based on OpenTK and C Sharp language, it is not natively available for Windows for us, uh, sorry, non-Windows platforms. Although you should be able to get it to work, you should also be able to port your game to other platforms because of that open TK back end. But it is primarily a Windows environment. So what exactly is Duality? Well, Duality is a 2D editor-based game engine built on top of C Sharp. And it is also very impressive. So what I'm going to do is do a quick look at Duality itself. And then we're going to get into the details of the 3.0 release. So the quick look is just to kind of introduce you to the kind of the concepts of what this engine is all about. Now in the past, I covered this in the Closer Look series. So if you want to look at how to get started or a little bit more in-depth detail, that was on the 2.x version. But it should still be applicable and should still get you up to speed. So I'll show you that resource in a little bit. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to give you a very, very, very quick look at Duality. And as you can see, it is a full editing environment which is pretty impressive. Now, behind the scenes, it's also entirely component-based. On the back end, it creates a C-sharp project for you, so all your coding can be done in Visual Studio, 100% um, code-based if you really prefer, but you also have this full editing environment here. So you've got your project view over here, you've got your scene view over here. Another cool thing is Duality is modular, so even in the samples are available via module. So that's what we're going to do. We'll just go ahead and load one of the samples. So come up here, Manage Packages, You'll see here's a list of all the various different uh, installed packages. We're coming down here to the online repository, and we're going to see we have a bunch of samples to go with. So I'm going to just bring up one of them. For example, uh, I think there's one here for shaders. Uh, so you got a Flappy Bird style example. Ah, hell, I'll go with it. So just come on in here, pick the thing you want, and do an install. Now, it actually does require, after you install a new package, a quick reboot of the editor, but everything here is so incredibly lightweight, it's not really a big deal. So you see here, click Apply to restart, and we'll let that do that. Boom, it's going to pop, and it'll be right back in just a second. So the download for Duality is something like one and a half megabytes, and then it downloads some of its dependencies, but this is a very lightweight engine for the most part. All right, so now we've reloaded. Over here, you can see our project view. So we've got our flapper die. You see here, we've got the concepts such as prefabs. We've got our main game scene and a main menu. I'll open up the main menu and there you can see it over here in the editor. Up here we can see a scene view of the various things that go together. So we've got a camera. Uh, you'll notice all of these things are actually component based. Uh, so we got flap or die. So you'll go into the actual game scene. So load up the next level and there you see there is your main character. There is your level. You've got full it. Um, moving and editing and panning environments. You can do tile mapped uh, backgrounds. You've got characters in the scenes. So we can grab this guy. You will see it is part of the bat. The bat has a uh, player controller um, game object attached to it, a rigid body. It's got transformations, etc. You see all the various different pieces that go together in the object inspector. So this is a component based engine. You see we can add a number of components here to our object, such as camera, sound emitter, sprite renderer, transform. And then you see right here, this is how you hook into your game code. So these are um, code oriented things here that were actually written behind the scenes. I'll show you that in just a second. At the same time over here in our game world, I could go ahead and add a new, and then you see here we've got our game object, and we've also got a number of defined types. So we've got uh, diagnostics things, and this is the same kind of components we saw over there. You can you know create one and done and set up that way. So you've got this full editing environment. You've got nice control and manipulation widgets like that. Um, you've got full hierarchies over here. It is just an impressive full featured engine. And then you've got the full C sharp game engine side of things. So we can click right here, and this will load up in the uh, Visual Studio version of choice. So you need to have Visual Studio 2013 or later installed, I believe. If you don't already have Visual Studio, uh, don't worry, it is completely free as long as you made less than a million bucks last year. Uh, so shouldn't it be a huge detail. I'll let this run for a second. And you'll also notice we can come up here and we can actually enter sandbox mode and we can play our game directly in the browser. Or we can go ahead and do a full run. And we've also got full debugging support built in here, including uh, frame by frame stepping. And then when you're done and ready with your game, it is as simple as doing a game publish like this. So a very easy engine to get started with, a very easy engine to publish with. The only real challenge you're going to have here is once again, it is very Windows centric in its view. But the libraries it is built on are cross platform. So you should be able to take your end work to other platforms and environments if you need so. Um, 
All right, so that is the primary editor cover. Now let's head over here and take a look at some of the code. So you see over here, you've got your project created right here and then the various different pieces above. So they've created some custom components, so a ticker component. And you'll see the code is pretty straightforward. You inherit from the type of component you want to be. So this, for example, is a text renderer and gets updates. And then you implement callbacks on update. And then that will now work in your game. So really, it is very, very simple to create your own components in this engine. And if you know any C Sharp, you'll understand this code is it's pretty typical, pretty easy to read. It's, it's a very easy uh, game engine to really get up to speed with, to be honest. And it's actually pretty well documented, and there is a decent community behind it. At the same time, we've also got these controllers over here. For example, uh, the player controller uh, right here. So you see that. It requires a component of type rigid body to be attached. The player controller is inherited from component, again, that updatable and collision listener. And then you see it, it's pretty straightforward. And the cool thing is you can actually implement an object over here. And let's see if there's this, this particular project has examples of that. So where are our controllers? Let me see right here. So prefabs, da, 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 da. Mm. All right, I'm not going to find one easily, but the cool thing is things that you do over here or properties you do over here will actually be exposed and editable in the editor. So if you create a property for, you know, orcs or monsters or whatever, you can define values such as hit points and that kind of stuff in the editor side of things. So it's fully exposed across the two. Uh, it makes, uh, you know, your interaction, your uh, iteration, sorry, and your design sites a very, very, very quick and turnaround. So in many ways, you can think of duality as a version of Unity that is Windows only, completely open source, MIT licensed, I believe, uh, available up on GitHub. Uh, it's just more streamlined and focused entirely on 2D. Although one of the big changes in this particular release is the updates to the renders. So without further ado, let's actually get into a little bit of what the 3.0 is all about. So you see here, we've just moved to 3.0. We'll go to the major highlights here. So they rewrote the entire rendering pipeline, allowing massive improvements in efficiency, ease of use, and covering and feature coverage while at the same time shifting towards a more modern shader focused rendering techniques. Render setup resources allow replacing how duality renders a frame, providing a simple entry point for pre and post processing steps, as well as completely customizable rendering behavior. Self-contained scenes allowed using scene resources as isolated simulation spaces independently of the main active scene. Focus on performance and a more data-oriented design of both rendering and update cycles. A worst-case rendering benchmark compares V2 and V3 performance went down from 13 milliseconds to 6 milliseconds per frame. So basically a double improvement in speed and garbage collections also got better. Refactored the core API, replacing many first iteration designs with more streamlined ones. The most prominent example might be the deprecation of manual context. Check. Okay, we're getting into very specific details here. There is an upgrade guide that shows you how to basically take your 2.x game up to a 3.x version uh, and then we get into a lot more details of what actually was changed in the rendering and the render pipeline and the shaders and the physics and the game objects so you can actually see when we actually get into the nitty-gritty details of this 3.0 release there was an absolute ton in here but the biggest thing is the fundamental rewrite of the underlying rendering engine uh, it is it is definitely an impressive game engine. It's one also not enough people know about and definitely more should. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about it, their front page doesn't sell it massively, which is a bit of a shame. It should add a little bit more pizzazz right off the hop when you come here. But the webpage is duality2d.net. Now as obvious as always, I mean, I will of course throw this link down below along with all the other relevant links. Uh, but you can see here some screenshots of what it is capable of. It is definitely one I do recommend you check out. Also come on in here, you will find there's pretty good documentation going on right here. So most of what you want is actually available in documentation. Uh, the source code is over on GitHub. I will toss this link up as well. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier on, I also earlier featured this in the Closer Look series. Now the Closer Look series is a combination between a hands-on guide, a review, and a getting started guide. Uh, covers about what a game engine is all about. Now this one is a little bit over two years old. Uh, so it does cover the previous version, but it will Will take you step by step through how the editor works, how you create objects in your game, how you add some scripting logic to those entities, it kind of gives you an idea of what the workflow is all about when you are working with duality. So if this is looking interesting to you, this should give you a good starting off point, give you about uh, you know five to ten minutes, you'll have the very basics of you know here how I can control moving a character around, uh, for example, with code. And there's a bit of a hands-on closer look with duality here. Now keep in mind again, this is a version or two out of date, but it's still 
still relevant enough that it gives you a good jump off point if you are interested in learning more about duality. And frankly, I recommend you do know more about duality. It is an awesome kind of other guy out there. Now, of course, if you're already committed fully to Unity or Godot or Unreal Engine, this doesn't really offer a whole lot that those don't other than being smaller, self-contained, more focused on 2D. Plus, it's that you know one-man effort with a community around it. And I always like to encourage those things because a lot of times, the more you know of a community that grows around things, the bigger it can become. And this is very strictly focused on 2D, and I like that. In a lot of ways, I think that uh, Unity, for example, is a gigantic sledgehammer where sometimes you just need a screwdriver. And this might be more of a precision tool. So if you're looking to create just a 2D game on a Windows platform, definitely check out Duet. It might be the perfect tool for you. All right, that is it for now. So that is a quick introduction to duality itself and a look at what is in uh, duality 3.0. Now, of course, we only scratch the surface of what is actually in this release. So if you're already using duality, please do be sure to check the full release notes. There is a ton more information in there that I completely glossed over in here. But for the most part, if you're not already a duality user, it's not going to excite you too much. The summary can just be that the renderer got a whole lot faster and a whole lot better. And that's, you know, that's definitely definitely good news. So uh, that is Duality 3.0. I do recommend if you've never seen it before that you definitely go check it out. Now, I'm not sure if all the tooling will run under Wine or not. I imagine it would, to be honest. So if you're on Linux, you can probably still run this on Wine uh, or even on Mac. You can probably get it running under Wine as well. But don't quote me on either of those. If you actually are on one of those platforms, you do get it running on Wine. Please do let me know in comments down below. Useful for other readers that maybe they want to check this out. There is nothing wrong with Duality. It is very lightweight, cool, purpose-built, very liberal open source license. It's just a cool project that I think more people should be aware of. It's been running for years. It is very stable, very fast, very clean. And I very much encourage you, if you think what I saw you looks cool, jump in even deeper. You're going to find it gets cooler and cooler the more you look at it. All right, so that is Duality Game Edge. Let me know what you think of that. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.